All right, everybody. <laughs> Here is a guide of how to pierce somebody's nose at home. Semi-professionally, but not really. Okay, so what you're going to need, if your jewelry is 18 gauge, you need a needle that is one size up from that. So a 16 gauge. And the reason for that is so that you can stick the jewelry into the end of the needle and guide it through the nose hole that you're about to create. <laughs> so what you need is either some clamps, or if you don't want to use clamps, then you can use a receiving tube, which which you would want to stick up their nose right here and guide the needle through, but I don't know if the needle is going to go into the receiving tube because I can't see, so I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna use the clamp. So we have the needle in the jewelry soaking in some isopropyl alcohol. Um, the needles are already supposed to be sterilized, but I like to do that anyway just to be safe. So normally you would need gloves, but I couldn't find any at the store. So I'm just gonna wash my hands really good, but I would highly, highly advise you to use gloves just so it's safest and the most clean or hygienic or whatever you wanna call it. So first and foremost, you're gonna wanna sterilize the area that you're piercing. So I'm gonna dip this in the alcohol. And then you're going to want to sterilize both the outside area as well as the inside area. So use the other end of the Q-tip to sterilize the inside. And your next step is to mark the area that you want to pierce. So what I normally do is I look at the crease of the nose and where it comes to a point right here is probably where you would like to pierce. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that. So... Clamp the site at which you are piercing. <laughs> Hold on, let me switch hands. <laughs> right. Deep breath in and deep breath out. So the needle is in, the needle is in and the jewelry is connected at the end of the needle. So at this point, you're just gonna push it through and since it's an L bend, once it gets right here, you're gonna wanna push the needle that way to get the jewelry in. All right, this is gonna be pressure. A little. Oh, sorry. And there you have it. And now you're gonna wanna get some saline wash and clean around the outside and the inside of the piercing. So he's cleaning it with saline solution, which I put it in this little shot glass, which you need for the saline solution is some natural sea salt, and then you mix it with hot or warm water.
and that's what you're going to use to clean your piercing probably about twice a day every day for a couple weeks or just for feels most healthy for you you just got to listen to your body really and that is how to pierce somebody's nose at home